Hey everybody, Shoebox Legends here. Thanks for joining me for a Make Your Own Blaster episode today. This is a challenge I laid down to myself uh, related to the Skybox Metal Universe set that came out recently. So, busted a blaster of it, which you see here. Um, had really good luck, actually. It was, it was a very, very fun product. Uh, retail price is $29.99. Um, you only get 35 cards, five cards per pack, seven packs, but the cards are absolutely beautiful. And um, that blaster, which is a you know a bunch of episodes back now in the channel, if you want to go check it out, um, was was pretty much made for me. Um, you know, a nice Ovechkin insert. I got this dry sidle retro you see here, the Ilya Sorokin prospects card, which is looking like a pretty good card. Um, tons of cool color. Um, really enjoyed the design. Um, but I started thinking to myself, you know, I, I could probably do quite a bit of damage for that same $29.99, you know, plus tax on, like, sport lots, for example, and, uh, or Com C, you know, pick your site. And what I decided to do is exactly that, try to build my own blaster. I gave myself, you know, $29.99 plus a couple bucks in, you know, tax or shipping, and, you know, just see what I could assemble from the Metal Universe set and compare it to the 35 cards that I pulled out of my blaster. Now, obviously, you're always going to get more, you know, value, quote-unquote, buying singles compared to busting product, and, and you lose the fun of the rip. That's the trade-off, but um, I think I was able to do pretty well for $29.99. So this is the big stack of cards that I ended up with from one seller, and this isn't even everything. This is the bulk of it. Um, I built most of my uh, blaster, quote-unquote, from... A uh, guy who had, or a gal, I'm not really sure, who had a ton of base cards, nearly all of which were available at the site minimum 18 cents. Um, so what I did is I grabbed, you know, in some cases, two or three copies of the base cards of just the players that I tend to follow and collect in the league. And you can kind of see with the, the lighting in here, I talked about these, you know, when I ripped my blaster, and this is obviously not a brand new products. So you've probably seen this elsewhere, but the background on these, it's really spectacular. I think Upper Deck did a really good job uh, recreating this design. And so even the base cards are, you know, very, very beautiful cards. Um, so I got Matt Barzel of the Islanders, player that I like a lot, grabbed three of his base card. Uh, of course, I was going to get my Ovechkin. Um, he was slightly more expensive, but even still, he was 35 cents per card from the seller. So I grabbed three Ovechkins essentially for a dollar. Those will go right into the Z Folio, Hockey Z Folio, or maybe uh, it's, it's starting to become an Ovechkin Z Folio. I may have to do a, uh, a dedicated Z for Ovechkin because I'm, I'm picking up a lot of his cardboard. Uh, here's another guy I like, Artemi Panarin of the Rangers. Again, three of him. So you're noticing a pattern here, but I mean, for a product that you're paying roughly a dollar per card out of the box for, uh, here's Alex Debrinkit. Shout out to my buddy Ken Kinsley, Blackhawks fan. I know has some Debrinkit cards in his collection for sure. Um, but yeah, for about a buck a card retail, uh, you know, getting these for 18 cents a card. Mitch Marner, Sebastian Ajo. Um, felt like a really good deal. Really like Ajo. Uh, young guy from Finland. I'm really high on him. Uh, leader for the Hurricanes. Uh, here's Leon Dreisaitl, was pumped that the seller had three Dreisaitls. Um, you know, I've been talking about him a little bit recently on the channel, and I certainly have some more Dreisaitl yet to come. Um, you know, he was 25 cents a card for Leon Dreisaitl. Grab three of those. Austin Matthews, absolute sniper, who is underrepresented in my collection for some reason. You just can't collect everybody. Patrice, one of the best Bruins ever to lace up skates. There were only two Bergerons out there, so I'll track down a third somewhere else since that seems to be the pattern here. I got one single Tuka Rask, Kale McCarr, young defenseman out of Colorado. I got three of him. Brad Marchand, love him or hate him. I just got a single copy of his card. That was all that was out there. Here are three Braden Points, three Malkins. I mean, this is our two Malkins, looks like. But, I mean, you get the idea. I basically handpicked every single superstar or guy that I would want to collect from this release. Sasha Barkov. And not only that, but got multiple copies of most all of these. Nikita Kucherov. Even got Sid the Kid. 
That's right, a pair of Crosbys, the highly collected Sidney Crosby. These were 45 cents a piece. Pretty happy with that price point. Got David Pasternak. Stamkos, we saw Kucherov earlier. Here's his teammate Stamkos. Nathan McKinnon. I mean, all the names, again, that you would want in the modern NHL. Here's a big one, of course. Connor McDavid. Uh, may have overpaid for these as things settle down a little bit. We'll see. But I paid a buck 25 a piece for three Connor McDavid's. So just a really neat, neat McDavid card there for a guy that I'm slowly but surely PCing, it seems like. Um, so that's a bit, you know, big hefty stack, stack there of, I think, over 50 base cards. You know, so just more pure cards than you would get in a blaster alone. Although, obviously, you know, you'd get some cool stuff beyond base in a blaster. Speaking of which, um, I pulled quite a few of these. They're called Blue Spectrum Parallels in the Blaster. I think they were even one per pack, maybe. Um, so I did grab a couple in the Make Your Own Blaster because I wanted to have a parallel or two included and was really happy that I could bring home Brad Marchand as part of that lot. And then one of my favorite inserts in the product, I was fortunate enough to pull the Alex Ovechkin from this insert set in my Blaster. So decided to see what other net deposits I could get. Um, since it is, you know, just a really cool, shiny and wild design there. So I got another Sasha Barkov. You saw his base card earlier. Love these net deposits. Nathan McKinnon. The Avalanche. Another Brad Marchand. So the Marchand collection. Got a nice little injection from this Build-A-Blaster. And then even got a Sidney Crosby, which is... Great. Um, you know, he is one of the, I'd say, top five most expensive modern NHL players to collect right there with McDavid, Ovechkin, uh, others of that ilk. So finding this insert of Sid the Kid felt pretty good. Um, this was the most expensive card in this entire order that we saw here at uh, $1.40, which I thought was pretty reasonable. So that's a really cool Crosby card there. And, you know, right there, I'm, I'm already well above what I'd have at a blaster in terms of, you know, number of cards, more inserts than I would have pulled from a blaster for sure, um, and more star power. But I, I was only at about $23 and change by the time I cashed out with that seller. So I still had a little bit of wiggle room. Um, got another insert here. This was just a single card uh, from a seller who offered 99 cent shipping and was able to secure this one for less than $2. It is from that same Net Deposits insert set, and it is probably the hardest subject on the checklist to get. Connor McDavid. Love that Net Deposits card. Super cool. If you're a fan of the Shine, um, you should definitely, definitely, definitely pick some of these up. They are not very expensive, as evidenced by uh, today's video, and they just look really nice. And uh, I actually, so that brought me up into the, you know, high 20s, but I found one more seller with two parallels, um, blue spectrum parallels, just like that Brad Marchand that we saw of uh, players that I enjoy quite a bit. Um, the first of which is a guy who's highly collected out there just because he plays in Montreal, Carey Price. Look at that, a beautiful rainbow metallic shine that Upper Deck got on these cards for, you know, for retail um, exclusive inserts that, you know, quote unquote, aren't very valuable. I think these uh, these Blue Spectrum cards are just beautiful. Uh, if, if you collect a modern day NHL player, definitely get out there and grab one of these. You can find even the biggest stars in the game for just a few bucks because they're not numbered um, and they are retail inserts, but um, that they look really spectacular. So there's Carey Price. And then the final card of my uh, Make Your Own Retail Blaster here is uh, my personal favorite of the entire lot. Came from the same seller as that Carey Price. It's the blue spectrum of the grade eight Alex Ovechkin. So this is a pretty nice piece to my OV PC. Uh, would love to someday add a Precious Metal Gems Ovechkin from this release. They're numbered out of 100. I've, I've watched a couple. Um, they're just a little bit out of uh, my current price range at the moment, but I'm certainly going to keep my eye open. And in the meantime, 
Uh, this blue Spectrum is certainly a pretty good poor man's uh, substitute until uh until that day comes when i'm uh lucky enough to land a precious metal gems i will still gladly look at that ovechkin card in my z folio and smile and so that is a wrap that is my attempt to build my own blaster of skybox metal universe it was definitely a success wanted to grab a lot of those base cards um you know for cheap i just think they're really nice looking happy with my inserts and parallels that are going to kind of spruce up my hockey z folio and uh, best of all, with all these cards in hand, I think I will likely just leave my other blaster or two that I have laying around here of Metal Universe in the wrap because, uh, you know, maybe someday down the line on a rainy day, I'll rip them open. But uh, for now, we'll just keep them shrink wrapped and I'll enjoy the cards that I picked up here and the uh, great singles that I pulled out of the first one. So um, that's it. Thanks for joining me for this uh, sort of odd experiment. Um, I'll certainly be back in the near future with some more sports card content. Until then, keep collecting, stay safe, and take care.